Welcome inside the huddle. I'm Mike Joseph Lafayette's going to take on the Bucknell Bison this week in Lewisburg. Always a tough place to go, but you're always there sometime in October. And the closer to Halloween it gets, you can see those big orange helmets staring you right in the face. So Lewisburg it is this weekend at 12 o'clock. It's going to be a great game. Lafayette's going to have to take advantage of what I think is probably one of the best defenses in the entire Patriot League. They run a 4-2-5, so four people up front two at the second level, and then five secondary guys. Very, very important to what we call hit the soft spots in the 4-2-5 defense. So a pre-snap read right now is going to give Sean O'Malley a look at whether they're going to have two high safeties or if they're going to rotate one of those safeties into the box and rotate another corner or safety to the middle. A lot of times this is the guy you got to look at. He will align outside of number two with the mic on the end of the box. So there's a window right in here that you can hit as well. But we're talking about when the corners bail and the corners retreat and are looking like they're playing a third coverage. The softest areas for this defense for Bucknell has always been in the flats. So 12 yards and under, 12 yards and under. We've seen the Lafayette take advantage of some of those areas with Nick Pearson on some deep outcuts. And I'm really talking about bubble screens to the outside. Quick runs to the uh, to the uh, quick moves to the outside off a seven yard out. Somebody motions in and then runs back out. Vertical route, tight end in the flat, getting the backs the ball in the flat in space. So we're talking about these areas here, basically outside the numbers that are going to be soft spots in the defense. You must take advantage of this. A couple years ago, Lehigh University completed almost 17 passes in the flat against the 4-2-5. So very important. So we're talking about these areas here. If we can draw these corners up and do enough of this, all of a sudden that brings in the outs and up and the deeper routes down the middle. So drawing people up and then obviously hitting those home runs over the top. The other area here is we want to talk about is the way Lafayette's been pretty successful running what I call the midline. A lot of times you'll see that motion come across and you'll see Sean make a fake and then boom, right up the midline. So we're going to get CJ or Selwyn Simpson inside. Double team on the nose, so important. Zadavesky in the right guard or Zadavesky in the left guard. Taking this nose guard back into the Mike linebacker. Turning this guy out, whether you pass set and bring the tackle upfield or whether you work towards here and maybe you bring another guy inside to trap block. So maybe a wham block. You bring a guy like uh, Will Eisler inside and wham block the nose and then you can get both the safety, or excuse me, both the guard and the center up to the second level. So running this midline here going to be very important. Remember, this is a very good defense. Linebackers that can run. So down runs here to the outside or to the outside here are going to be difficult because of the speed of these linebackers. So establish the midline. Number two, make sure you take advantage. If they're going to give you those out routes and give you the flat routes, you must take advantage of that, drawing people up. So hitting the soft spots in the 4-2-5, staying on schedule, means the Lafayette offense can stay on the field, put some points on the boards. Okay, Saturday, Bucknell.